and shake your booties for black girl nerds. Hi there, DeVette C with Black Girl Nerds, and I had a chance recently to sit down with Lorenz Tate, one of the stars of the soon-to-be-released comedy, Girls Trip. Hi, Lorenz. Hi. Nice to see you today. Likewise. Thank you likewise. so much for sitting down with us. Absolutely. So, um, saw the film. Yes. And I have to say, brilliant work. Oh, you enjoyed it. Yes, nice. very much. Nice. And and I've heard you say that uh, you don't consider yourself a sex symbol. I don't get that, and I don't think there are like there are women screaming. You don't get that, right. and I certainly didn't see it in the movie. So, what is it about you that you think kind of reaches through the screen? Because it can't always be just the part. Right. The actor brings to something. Right. Well, for me, I like to bring. I like to believe I'm a, I'm a man of integrity. You know, I like to feel like I'm a genuine person, and I. I feel like I'm able to bring that to my character and bring some sense of honesty to it, you know, I think that people, you know, receive it. And so I think that's what it's about. You know, I, I feel like you know, people can feel like I'm well received. And um, I, that comes from my parents, you know, raising us well and not to be surface, especially in a business that thrives sometimes on things that don't have a lot of depth. And so, I just want to continue to keep the integrity. Excellent. So we've read a lot of stories um, from time to time about women who find themselves on a set full of men. They're like the only right. actress right, right. and nothing but men. So what's it like for you kind of being in the reverse role? Like you're not the only man, but you're one of a few actors surrounded by strong, wonderful actresses. How's that? It was an ideal job, can I say? And it wasn't even a job, you know what I mean? It was just nothing but fun, you know? And I gotta say that I would do it all over again and again because, you know, some people would seem like they would be overwhelmed. I knew these women, I respect their work, they're super talented, they're smart, they're funny, they're endearing, but they're just super down to earth as well. So it was a joy just to spend that kind of time uh, with friends of mine like Jada, and Latifah, as well as Regina and Tiffany. And I'm proud of all of them because I think this is a, you all have, we all have those breakout roles. I think everybody will either have a breakout moment or you reinvent yourself. And this movie will allow that to happen. I just have one more question. You're a dad of three sons. Sure, yes. And I believe I've read that your sons want to follow you into the business. What is the one piece of advice or what would you say to fathers from your own experience who have sons who might want to go into the inter entertainment industry? What's the best piece of advice you could give them? Well, I would probably give the same advice that my father as well as my mother gave me. Understand, you know, that it's not a sprint, it's a marathon in anything that you do. And in this business, there's highs and lows. And, you know, don't let any of the things define you, who you are. It's really that, what you said, that authenticity, the thing that has it, that keeps you going, the integrity, and that self-esteem. Because, you know, being in this industry, your self-esteem can be broken easily because there's so many doors closed. Uh, it doesn't matter the age. You know, it's just a tough business. But I say the marathon. And if you stick with something long enough, you know, good things will happen. Thank you so much yeah, for sure. talking with us. Absolutely. And congratulations again on the film. Thank you. Brilliant. Appreciate your time. Thank you for your time. Pleasure. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.